Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be letting you guys know three of the series that I want to pick up over the course of, what year are we in? 2022. Now, these are some series that I know that you guys have probably heard of already, and one of them is actually coming out this year, and the other two aren't really coming out this year. They're just things that I would like to pick up, because, you know, I haven't really been buying manga or reading manga for the past, like, 8, 9, 10 plus months. I don't reckon I've bought a volume in almost a year, so I really need to get back into this hobby because it is something that I really love and I just haven't really had the time to continue my passion for it. And you know, it's been like how many months since my last video? <laughs> um, it's insane. So I thought I'd just come back with this video and kind of show you guys what sort of stuff I want to get. They're probably going to I know I said three, but there's going to be a bonus series in there, because why not? It's my video, my channel, my rules. If you don't like it, you can get out. But, yeah, that's about it. Let's get into it. All right, so, all right, all right. So the first series that I want to pick up in 2022 is going to be Soul Eater, the perfect editions, because these volumes look really nice. The Soul Eater franchise, the anime is awesome. I really love that. Atsushi Okubo really knows his stuff when writing stories and drawing pictures. I just love the look of this series. Soul Leader looks like it could be fun. It could be a cool little shonen. I'm loving Fire Force. I've only got one volume, but I want to get more of that as well. But Soul Leader, I, I remember when they came out, like the perfect editions, and no one really liked them because apparently the quality was really bad. And that I'm hoping that changes because it looks like these volumes are meant for my collection. So hopefully I can get onto that at some point. But anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about Soul Eater. The next series that I want to pick up is going to be Fist of the North Star. Now, Fist of the North Star is one of the series that I actually hyped up a lot on my channel when it first got announced back in 2020 or 2021, I'm not sure. One of those years. Well, back then, I actually hyped this up on my channel and said I would get it as soon as it came out. Never happened. I never bought Fist of the North Star, never read it, never even got into it because that was kind of when I started to die out with my passion on this sort of thing a little bit so I kind of never really got that series but I would like to try it out like it is something that I would like to pick up eventually because you know it's Fist of the North Star. Now onto my third series that I want to get. This series is kind of kind of something new kind of not. I've read a chapter or two of it. I feel a little bit guilty saying that because I did read it digitally and not. I'm not going to expose myself here. What, you, what I'm trying to say is I didn't read this the right, correct way, like I've said to read series before, but that's because I just couldn't get my hands on this series, and as soon as I can, I'm going to buy all of the volumes in this series all at once, hopefully, because actually, no, that's going to be expensive. I will pay for all the volumes, though, because this series, I think, is right up my alley. It's called Blood on the Tracks by this person. I can't remember the name right now because it's been a little bit of a while since I looked at the series, but Blood on the Tracks amazing artwork amazing sort of premise i'm really about that psychological horror sort of thing where it's more about the human mind and just bending your mind and making you feel anxious and scared about things that are actually legitimate worries in our daily lives and humanity so seeing this in this story is ridiculous and i'm about to put a little spoiler warning right here but I'm about to put this panel up right here this actually scared the crap out of me when i read it and this gave me a nightmare because Oh my god, that panel, if you read that chapter, it's the first chapter of the series. Oh my god, man, that messed me up for like hours after I read that. That's insane. But yeah, that's all I'm going to talk about on Blood on the Tracks. Like, there's nothing really else I can say about it apart from I'm really hyped to try and pick that up. Now, the last series that I want to pick up for 2022, start of 2022, I guess, Oh, it's not really the start of 2022 when this one comes out. But that is going to be Tokyo Revengers. Now, Tokyo Revengers, I read all of the chapters that were out back in, I want to say, about July last year. I binge read from chapters 1 all the way to, like, 201 in two days. That's how much I love this series. This series, to me, is just insane, and I really, really want to pick it up because, oh my god, how can you not read that series? It just, ooh, artwork's cool action's cool, the fights, the drama, the romance, just the whole, like, idea of, the whole premise of this, if you haven't already, just go check it out, like, Tokyo Avengers has an anime that's really, really good, apparently, I haven't seen it because I'm manga only, but apparently that's really good, the manga, 
recommend that. Bang, that is straight fire. You should all try it out. One of my favorite anime, and I'm, anime? I didn't say anime. One of my favorite manga of probably all time, not quite in my top 10, but definitely up there. You seriously didn't think that I'd forget to mention that I also want to pick up the rest of Haikyuu eventually when it's all in stock. But anyway, that's all I'm going to talk about for today's video. Um, yeah, hopefully I can pick up this series in the coming months for my manga collection, which is back there. Don't know if you can see that. It's right there. Um, I have moved my stuff around. Sorry for the squeaky chair. And yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. And yeah, peace.